that is man of the year. This young man is very special. He doesn't know it, but I knew his father. We were, had been friends for years. And unfortunately, he lost him last year, last week. And we are very, very sorry that this happened. But with God's help, with time, with lots of prayer, you'll be all right. You will be all right. It takes time. Keep your hand in God's hand. And if you do that, you can make it. Melvin Wesley Milbrook was born in Blyville, Arkansas. He currently lives in Blyville. He's married. He's a high school graduate, two and a half years of college. He's a Mason. And what most of the young people here know is that he is KJM, 93.9. I heard a lot about Cajun. <laughs> One of our club members said, when I'm riding down the road with my window down and I, somebody passed me and the same music is on the radio. So I know we're listening to the same station. And I'm going, what station? <laughs> She said, K-Jam, 93.9. <laughs> Melvin is married, three daughters, and I will not attempt to pronounce their names. <laughs> His hobbies are reading, music, and having events for the young people in his area. He feels that the young people are our leaders of the future. But all of the young people in here, here he is. Hey, <laughs> 93.9. Melvin Mueller. my mouth, so I'm going to keep that alone. You know, it was, uh, it threw me off when I first came here. I introduced myself to this lady over here. <laughs> and I, she said, you're a man of the year. I said, man of the year. <laughs> I just come to be, you know, part of the program. Um, I've been to these all my life. You know, these programs, and I've always watched my father, may he rest in peace, give his speeches to my brother, Michael. You know, what can I say? You know? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. My, my <laughs> people wouldn't believe I'm tongue tied right now. <laughs> but you know, uh, it's been a blessing. It has been a blessing. All honor is due to God, and I truly mean that. Um, my father did pass away last week, uh, but with you guys' prayers and blessings, and keep letting me know how much you feel about me and love me, you know, it's gotten me through this. Uh, we all are going to go through some type of trial and tribulation in our life. And the loss of my father, I don't think it, it may not get any worse than that. And for me to be able to continue on with what I'm doing, it lets me know that the sky's the limit, you know. And if you put God first, all things will come to pass. One thing I had to learn, which was very hard for me, was to be humble, you know. All my life I walked around and I seen them church be humble. And I never knew what it meant. And uh, I found out patience, humbleness, and with the Lord on your side, there's nothing you can't accomplish. I stand here proving fact to that. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe how much I touch these kids out here. And uh, I always talk about in the past, you know, kids never had anything to look up to but negativity. And we finally, they finally have something positive to look up to. And I'm glad to be in that situation that I'm in the light. Um, like I said, I'm a lost for words for man of the year. <laughs> My father talked about this for the longest. He was so excited. I guess he knew that I was getting this award. He just didn't want to tell me. Uh, he's here with me right now. He always will be with me. And uh, I accepted this in his name. 
Lonnie Whiskey, Middlebrook Jr. I thank you, ladies. Keep hope alive, and y'all know I love y'all. Thank you.